In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with using Watson Conversation um, to build out interactive dialogues. And one of the common questions that people often ask is, how do you capture user input and record state in a Watson Conversation and pass that back to your application? So I'm going to show you how you can uh, quickly do that. So here I've already defined in Watson Conversation a number of intents and entities, which we'll just quickly take a look at. And in this example, uh, we're building out a Watson conversational dialogue for a mythical insurance company where someone can input and ask questions about their policy. So here, if we click on the uh, intent for our policy here, you can see we've got a number of intents asking about uh, questions related to your policy. And then we've defined a number of entities for ways in which someone might refer to their policy. You know, they can refer to it as a policy, an account, an account number, customer, customer number, or an ID. Now let's turn to the dialog and take a look at how we capture user input. So here in the dialog, I've already pre-built pre a number of uh, steps here. Uh, so let's take a look at, we have our policy information uh, dialog. And here we're asking the user a question, um, how can I help you and what's your, you know, what is your policy number? Uh, suppose we want to capture that input, how do we do that? So let's go ahead and continue the conversation here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to enter in a new condition. And the new condition that we're going to enter is called input.text and click on create new condition. Um, so what that's going to do is it's going to capture the user input uh, that uh, someone provides uh, through the interactive dialog. And then we're going to want to output that. Um, but let's first uh, switch our view here. Uh, let's go to the advanced view. And then we'll come back and we'll expand that. Um, and here you can see um, it shows you the, the JSON output. Um, I've already pre-made my output, so let me just copy that over and we'll take a look at what we're doing. Uh, so here what we're going to do is we're going to just output, um, you want me to get the status of, and then we're going to take that input text. And here you can see for the input text, we just surround that um, by the open and closing um, arrows here and the uh, question marks. Um, but more importantly, here you can see we've defined this uh, section in the JSON response called context. And here you're going to define your context object. Here we have our input.txt that we captured from the user. And then I've gone ahead and assigned a variable uh, that I'm going to use to refer to this uh, input later in my calling application. And that's going to be under the field identity um, policy. Um, and what will happen here is that when your calling application accesses the context object, you can, you can query that policy, and then you'll get the input.txt that, uh, that the user entered in during the conversational dialogue. Dialogue. So now that we've done that, um, how do we um, make use of that variable uh, later? So let's continue the conversation here. And let's suppose I want to uh, respond to the condition where someone has entered uh, yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bring up our response here. We're going to bring up that entity and we say yes. And then once again, let's uh, switch our view uh, to the advanced view. We'll just expand that out a little bit. And I've already captured um, the output here, so I'm gonna grab that and paste that in, and then we'll, we'll discuss it. Okay, so here we have our output text. Um, and here what you'll see I'm doing is I'm referring to that context variable with dollar policy. So that's the variable identity uh, I defined earlier. And here I have the dollar sign, and that's just the shortcut to refer to the context object. So what happens is as the calling application um, is going through the interactive dialogue with Watson Conversation, you're passing the context information back and forth. So from the last call we made, we had already populated the policy information. Um, and here I can simply read that out. Uh, so here I'm just displaying it. So there you go. So here's a quick uh, demo here that shows you know, how you capture the input text and how you can actually display it uh, once you've actually captured that during your conversation.